victory was ensured when Nigel Jemson, back on home soil, put Chris Bart Williams through, and the 17-year-old Cooley set up a mouth-watering fourth-round tie with Middlesbrough. Home hopes were revived on the hour by Chris Bart Williams' first league goal for the club after he'd been cleverly put through by Chris Waddle. One bright moment, but this was a game where Wednesday played nice football but were let down by poor finishing in general. Three more points went down the Don. The result disappointing. He's found Warhurst, who doesn't seem to have had much of the ball in this half. He's got it now, though, and he's played Bart Williams into a nice little position. And Bart Williams! That's the beauty! What a good goal from an 18-year-old. Doesn't matter how old you are, they're all good goals, but he's particularly joyful about that. He'd be delighted. He did well. He got a little bit of luck at one stage, uh, but it, you've got to ride your luck, and uh, he's done well there. He could have lost the ball there, he's taken the break, but he's kept his feet and he's played it nicely in the corner. Isn't, well, isn't the world wonderful when you're an 18-year-old and you're scoring goals in European football? It is when you're 20 years younger than Trevor. 5-1, Sheffield Wednesday in front, and surely it is all over as a contest now. They can go and really... was on Wilson by the new man Sailor. Ten minutes and perhaps a little bit of injury time left as Francis takes them on and gets the ball in here and it might well be teed up by Jensen for Bart Williams. Goal number eight. Tucked him beautifully. What a happy lad he is. He's not. But it was a lovely touch by Jensen actually who was very unselfish, could have tried to get his own name on the score sheet, but in two minutes of coming on, instead, he let the young man in. Yes, yeah, a good cross in, and the ball arrives to Jensen, and he turns and he has a look and he realises he's on for a shot, but he's aware that Bart Williams is coming alongside him and plays it very nicely, and it's a good one-touch finish. They put some good goals away in the corners Wednesday, you know, down with the keepers, the feet very struggled to get movement. Oh, it's all good stuff is this for Wednesday, for morale and everything. Jemson just kidded the opponent, and Bart Williams said thanks a lot. So he's got two tonight and three this season now. 8-1 Wednesday. <laughs> Selhurst Park, another poor Wimbledon crowd, watched another poor game. Fewer than 6,000 saw Chris Waddle's smooth pass open the way for Chris Bart Williams. 1-0 to Sheffield Wednesday, and so it remained and seemed likely to remain until the final blended with the stars like a top-draw West End cast. Simon Stewart stepped in with the prompt, first for Mark Bright and then for Chris Bart Williams. 2-0 at half-time. was the Sheffield show and increasingly it became the Bart Williams show. His second goal sweetly struck from six yards. And what for an encore? Well, a double act of Ryan Jones and Michael Williams struck up an understanding that led to a Bart Williams treble, the first hat-trick of his senior career.
Despite Wednesday's customary winter surge, hopes of a title challenge were beyond them. Hopes of a trophy relied on the Cups. It had begun back in September when the Owls were lucky to escape with a draw at Bolton, courtesy of Chris Bart Williams. Simpton. Quickly taken. And Bart Williams puts Sheffield Wednesday in front. The quickly taken free kick caught Manchester United, swept through to Bart Williams. 1 0 to Sheffield Wednesday. The 19 year old gets his third goal of the season. There were more gifts on offer at Villa. First to benefit was the Bartman. It was a tricky night. Right, but not that one. Jones was in there and always came for Pierce again. Bart Williams. Ah! Two for Wednesday. Breathing space at last for Trevor Francis inside. Thanks to a creamer from Chris Bar Williams. There were so many players between him and the goal. You wonder whether it maybe took a deflection on the way through. But he steadied himself. He took aim. Back came the trigger. And bang. Wednesday have won away from home five times this season. That one from Sinton, finds Coleman at the back post, here's Watson, and look, well, how did that one stay out? Here's Bart Williams again, still Bart Williams, creating the space for the shot, maybe, yes! It's a lovely goal from the teenager. Besson beaten, and Chris Bart Williams, who was a hat-trick hero against Southampton when they beat them 5-2 last season, has found the back of the Saints' net again. But he really does this all himself. He came inside Madison. Dowie had the lunge at him. He still had the composure to tuck it past Munkow, past Besant, and in off the inside of the upright. Well, that is a truly skillful goal by the youngster from Sierra Leone. Actually went through Munkow's legs. It was here that the Owls produced their most magical football of the season with a string of impressive scorelines. Just sit back and enjoy. Ipswich manager Mick McGiven said the relegation pressure's getting to his team. More Wednesday pressure brought a fourth goal from Chris Bart Williams. The final away game was at Leeds, where some of the Owls football was inspired. It was Wednesday who made the all-important breakthrough. On the half hour, Peter Atherton's ball found Chris Bart Williams in space. His first goal of the season, 1-0 to Wednesday. Delight and maybe relief for the Sheffield fans. It could have been... Sheffield Wednesday took the lead midway through the first half. A John Sheridan free kick and Chris Bart Williams beats Mark Bright to the ball to score from all of 20 yards. The only goal of a match marked by the return of Chris Waddle after 10... Sheffield Wednesday's third defeat in a row, Liverpool's first win in the league at Hillsborough for almost seven years, but they had to come from behind. It was Dan Petrescu who carved out the opening for the first goal for Wednesday, neatly threading the ball through to Chris Bart-Williams, and he did the rest. <laughs> 